Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where our trip here to Belgium continues. Today we're here at Balwadi. I've only been to this park once so I can't really remember it so I'm looking forward to going in and giving it another explore. Well I've been here a couple of times and it's home to four roller coasters, some other great rides as well and also there's some changes for this year because they've demolished the old Wild West area and they're actually building a new water ride for next year so we'll take a look at that and also for this year there's a couple of new flat rides as well including this seems to be popping up everywhere now a good old Zamperla Nebula oh, they're so much fun I really enjoy they them. are I can see why parks do install them especially somewhere like Balwadi uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing that it only opened a few days ago I believe they're still actually finishing off the theming around it um, so yeah the ride is open but they're still finishing off the actual attraction but uh, we'll head around there and we'll have a look um, yeah really looking forward to it just want to say thank you to the park you. for providing us with entry today and um, let's go and make our way inside lots of on-ride POVs coming up it's gonna be a good day and here's a look at the main entrance to the park as well. Worth pointing out, it's not just rides here, they've also got animal experiences as well. And I believe some of those have been changed for this year. So I'm looking forward to seeing it all. Hey, we're greeted by the mascot of the park this morning down here as well. <laughs> the lion, he's got his crown on. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Always posing for the camera. <laughs> Well, it's just gone 10 o'clock and the park is now open. It's open till five o'clock today, so we've got loads of time. It's not a massive park, but it's got a good variety of attractions. And yeah, looking forward to seeing the new bits down here as well. I think we're gonna head down towards Wakala first, the 2020 Gerslau family coaster. Well, I remember, I really enjoyed this coaster. It was really good fun. It's a nice ride and they've got some good theming at this park, actually. Yeah, I can't really remember it 100%, but I'm looking forward to giving it a look again. Really quiet down here this morning. I think most people have turned right down towards the other eyes. But yeah, it says five minutes, but we're definitely the first people here because it was at the front. <laughs> well, here we go. It's going to have a ride on Wakala. Hey, here we go. I like the themed audio, ain't dispatches. I do like coasters that do that. We're on the front row to start our day. Yeah, a few more people coming down here now. It's a good ride, this is. Nice family coaster. Quite snappy in places as well. Oh, there's the Nebula just over there. One of the new rides for this year. That looks pretty well themed. Looking forward to that. You ready, Charlotte? I'm tired. I'll watch me back. <laughs> yeah, it's a bags on ride, this one now. Sure, it never used to be. Here we go. Just loud. Woo! Some really funky transitions on this. Woo. Got a bit of a rattle now. Yeah. Down here at the front. Woo! Woo! Some little pops of air. Second lift up, which is kind of like a launch, really. I mean, it really keeps the speed up there. Eh? Booster wheel launch. And here we go, to the spike. Whoa! Over the water. Hey! I <laughs> love a good spike. Work great on family coasters. And back up to go. And there you go, that's Wakala. Nice to get back on that, it's a good ride. But yeah, this is the bit now where it'd be great if you were in like a show scene here when it did this, because obviously we have to make our way around now into the station. You've got the transfer track just here, spinning over. And we'll literally just come around here into a slow ending. But yeah, it's a good ride, that nice family coaster by Carla. It was nice to get on there again. We just did our ride there on Wakala. We've actually had two goes. We were out on the front first and then on the back. Still got a bit of a rattle near the back as well, but it is a really good family coaster, that one. It's a good fun coaster. There's some really good transitions on the track on there as well. Yeah, it's really quite twisty. Some good little drops on there. The second like launch lift hill, if you like, that's pretty good. And of course, going up the spike as well, which works good on a family coaster. It's a nice ride. It's not absolutely spectacular or anything, but it's, uh, but it's a good fun family coaster. And it's perfect, really, for them people that don't want to go on the massive rides and 
don't just want to go on a junior coaster. It's that balance that right in the between. middle. Yeah, it's a nice ride. I like the dispatch music. I like the Canadian theme around here as well. And talking of that, we've got another coaster now. This time it's Alpine Coasters. And uh, yeah, built by Wigand. And I tell you what, this is quite funny. They obviously wanted Alpine Coasters at this park, but they've got no hills. So what do you do when you've got no hills? You build a massive walkway going up to there. And, uh, and then come down on massive supports. It's quite funny, this is. So yeah, let's kind of ride up here on Dawson Jewel. Are you ready for your track then, Charlotte? Oh, it's time for our big walk this morning. Let's go for Dawson Jewels. Yeah, there's two of these right next to each other. They do race. And yeah, this is quite a walk. We're not exaggerating. It takes about five minutes to get up here. Yeah, some great views along the way, though. <laughs> Getting your steps in this morning, Charlotte. I know I am. So yeah, you go up this ramp here, then all them ramps there. Awesome steps, and then you make it up to the station. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a long walk. This is what happens when you build an alpine coast and you've not got a hill, but you want one. Yeah, it's quite funny, isn't it? Look at this. And the best thing is, it's actually got a lift hill there. What would have been better on this is if you actually loaded at the bottom and then went up the lift hill. Yeah, it's had a little ride up there. And then it would have saved all this over engineering of the queue line. I do find it quite funny. Also, all bags have to stay down at the bottom um, in the free baggage hold I do area. I prefer that because I don't really like taking my bag on one of these. Yeah, it's much better, isn't it? Come on, Charlotte, we're nearly there. <laughs> it does, yeah, we've got to go up this way now. Then across there, this is not one for re-rides, this. <laughs> Unless you want both credits if you've not done them before. And we're off, and we're actually dueling as well. There's Charlotte down there. <laughs> Let's go. So yeah, you just kind of push forward on these to build up your speed. It's not the fastest one, this, but you can break it still if you do want to. <laughs> Keep them pushed down. Don't pull them back as you'll break. <laughs> hey. Yeah, it's a bit slow. There she is. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I'm coming in on you now. Hey. <laughs> I said, oh no, they don't pull up anymore. I'm not too sure. Did they before? Done that many of these now. All auto controlled. Woo! <laughs> you do get some good views. Nice and close to a car like that. That's well designed. And round here at the bottom, yeah, it's very controlled, this is. I seem to remember now that you couldn't control the speed, it's all auto. Into the finish line, down here we go. That's it, yeah, all auto, yeah. I was thinking I'd got Yeah, I couldn't remember or not, but I seem to remember now that, yeah, it's all, oh, all automated. They're fans of the channel, so they let us duel up there. <laughs> but do you want a re-ride? <laughs> Some more ride footage there from Dawson Jewel, and yeah, it's an interesting one that I feel like they could have invested the money in something better, but it is still quite good fun as well. I, mean, it's I was going round, I was expecting to be able to pull the levers up to stop, so I was <laughs> thinking about that the whole way round. Yeah, it's just really weird because obviously it's very controlled, it's not the longest layout, you spend longer walking up the queue yeah, line on there. Yeah, I wouldn't want to wait too long for it, but it's worth going on there, you do get a nice view, and obviously there's a couple of credits there as well if you count your coasters. Exactly. <laughs> So here you got a few flat rides down in this Canadian themed area of the park as well and also a dinghy slide just over there. You've also got Camp Niagara down here as well. I don't think it's the day for going on that, it's a soaker. It's not any day to go on that. Show. Oh, it wouldn't be if it was warmer. But I tell you what, we've got the drop tower just over here. And there's a couple of other water rides that will go on, um, which I do like. You've got a log flume and a rapids. And they're building another one for next year as well. So yeah, they're going to have like two rapids attractions. Again, very interesting developments. Well, yeah, good to see them invested in the park. And of course, we've got the new ride to check out. And here's one of them just over here. Just started to absolutely throw it down where it's called the Pish Station. <laughs> Gotta be careful how you say that. So yeah, this is one of them that lifts up and spins round. And I've got to say, they've done a great job with the theming, like the big water tank up there, all the queue line, the planting. This literally opened a few days ago. So yeah, it's good to see this down here. It looks great. And yeah, here's Screaming Eagles. Yeah, we'll take you on here. It's gonna be a bit of a wet POV though, I think. Hey, here we go. <laughs> Screaming Eagle. Yeah, you actually go twice on this. It seems like it's gonna stop and then you're off again. Yeah, there's a look at the new ride just down there. Great view of Wakala, the lake over there as well. See, they've got quite a lot of expansion room at this park. Yeah, that looks awesome down there. They've done a really good job of fitting it in with the park. Yeah, we've also got a pirate ship down here as well. Yeah, so it's a hush drop and shots, this one. So you get both. 
Yeah. Yeah, plenty of expansion room at this park all around the back of the lake. Whee! It doesn't seem as forceful as it was before. Or maybe that's because for now we've got bounce back at Oka, which is the same style of ride, but by her hus. More of an observation tower, that. That looks amazing from up here. And they've done a really good job with the theme of that. Great to see. Yeah, you get two goes on this one. Screaming Eagle. It wasn't running that well, Screaming Eagle. I'm sure it used to run better than that. But yeah, it's an older attraction now down here at the park. So maybe we could look at getting a new drop tower at some point in the future here. That'd be nice to see. We're talking a new rise. Let's give this a go. I've got to say, they've done a great job with the theming. All the queue line, the building round at the side. It looks awesome. So yeah, with it being new, let's give it a go. Nice little family spinning ride. Hey, they're quite cool these because they lift up, start spinning round, and yeah, tilt a little bit as well. Looks like we're on the drop tower in good time. Yeah, it's gone down now, so I'm glad that we got that in. And yeah, the rain seems to have cleared up now as well. Some blue skies coming out here in Belgium. Yeah, there's your pirate ship just over there as well. Your dinghy slides off to the side. I would like to go on Camp Niagara, but yeah, it's, it's quite chilly. Like, it's only like seven degrees. When's it going to warm up? Like, I'm sick of this weather, Charlotte. Oh, no, it's so cold. I can't it's wait to go somewhere warm. Like, it's just been really cold, hasn't it? Shorts on. Yeah, definitely. I cannot wait for that. But yeah, it's a nice little addition. There's good to just see more permanent flat rides coming in. Obviously, they realised, yeah, we want some more flats now. And they've put this in. I wish certain parts back home would think like that. Cough, cough, old towers. Yeah, they've done a good job with this. Well, something like this could have gone in Gloomy Walk, Katanga Canyon. You know, just little filler flat rides go a long way. No, it's not a flat ride. That great addition to the park's lineup. And yeah, really important to have them permanent themed flat rides. Yeah, nice blue sky now. Another look at Wakala just there as well. I do like how with this coaster, you've got the pathways underneath as well. Yeah, it's nice with all the shrubbery and stuff as well, which is good. Yeah, it's grown really nice over the past couple of years since we were last here. Up next then, it's time for a ride on Hampe, just here. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm really not too sure. Zamperl and Nebula. And yeah, these look great. I mean, the position of this is lovely with the trees behind. Like I said at the start of the vlog, the theming is still being worked on. They obviously wanted these rides open still from the start of the season. So you can see they're still working on this, hence why. Still got cling film wrapping it up around there. Uh, however, the ride is open, which is good. They obviously wanted them ready for the off, which is good, really. It would have been nice if the theming had have all been completed, um, but still they're working on it, and it's really well themed, actually. Like, even the op cabin around there looks good. There's also a new play area around at the side by the looks of it. We waited about 10 minutes there for the nebula and we're off. They've done a good job with this themed area. It felt very barren down here before so it's really nice how they've got the play area. It looks like the Taj Mahal is there. Hot cabin looks good. <laughs> I do like these, they are good. They do take a while to load up, that's the one problem with them. But how about the extreme nebula in the future where it comes to the top here and then it does an inversion or it just spins all the way around. How cool would that be? For over 360 degrees. Might be quite sickly and intense for some people, but I don't know, how cool would that be? I also like to see Zamperla work more on their restraints in the future. So it'd be nice if this just had lap bars instead of big bulky over the shoulder restraints. Gonna park at the top now, whilst they load up the other side. Yeah, that's the thing, it's one of them, you know, it takes time to load and unload. But yeah, they've done a good job with this area though. Lovely. And here we go for round number two. Yeah, it was at the top for maybe three minutes, I'd say. One member of staff on here, but he's doing a really good job getting them loaded up. It's a lot for one member of staff. I do think these should be run with two. But yeah, he's doing a fantastic job going round, getting it sent out as quick as he can do. Whee! They do look the part though, these. I'd say they look better off ride, of course, than they actually ride. But they are good fun. And yeah, great interaction. Like, there's some great design work went into these. I remember riding the prototype for this at IAPO in Orlando a few years ago. I'm thinking, God, oh, I think these are going to take off, quite literally. And they're in every part now. In fact, Asterix has got a new one as well that we're going to be seeing. They are really good fun. Quite a lot of faffing around. However, they look the part. They really do. And yeah, this play area, fantastic down here as well. Really fresh. Only opened a few days ago down here. And like I say, you've got a lot of animal exhibits here as well. You've got the leopards just off to the right. This area of the park, 
felt really empty before, so it's nice how it's had some life. It looks really good. Yeah, I think it looks quite fresh. I love the play area. Yeah, this looks great when you see it from back here. They've got a train ride down here as well that actually takes you through with the Tigers. Should we go on? I think we should. Yeah, the train's just coming round over here now. It's a slow mover, but obviously it does go through with the animals. Yeah, we'll go and have a ride on this. And here we go on the Bengal Express. So yeah, you go through with the tigers and also the lions on here. I'm not sure if you see any. Yeah, it goes very slow, of course, because we're actually going through them areas. Um, and you've got all the panoramic windows around and all the seating actually faces outwards on this train as well. So let's go. So they're actually building a new viewing platform here as well. Again, looks like they've not finished the theming on there yet. However, it's good to see lots of investment in the park this year. When you think about the past few years here with Wakala, uh, Dawson George before that, the new Rapids that's coming in next year. Yeah, lots going on. Oh, there they are. There's the Lions and we're actually in with them. We're going to tell you what, if they're still there, Charlotte, when we go on that side, we're going to be getting close to them on this train. Wow. So we're into the next area now, looking out for the tigers, but can't see any in here. Now let's look at the train down there, though. Oh, back in here now with the lions slowing down even more. Look how close we are to him. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh, that is close oh on the train. <laughs> wow. Train ride where you get very close. That's the closest I think I've ever been to a lion just there. You're literally right down here. When I say he, more she. You get a good view of the nebula from here as well. So the train comes this way, loops back round, and heads into the station. see loads there on the Bengal Express, however we did get close to the lions, we didn't did we? really close. What have you got for lunch then, Charlotte? I've got pasta bolognese. There you go, it was 11 euros for the it tub was. just there. We do get quite a bit though. Yeah, it looks quite nice, that does. Enjoy some pasta, and then we'll keep on riding here at Balwadi. Oh, we just had some lunch there, how was the pasta? That pasta bolognese was absolutely lovely. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Ooh. The reason I'm giving it an eight out of 10 and not a 10 is because there was no cheese. And I like cheese on top of my pasta. Very cheesy. It was beautiful. And I that's really just theme park it. worldwide, very cheesy. But here we go, right, we're gonna continue on now this afternoon. We're going on the rapids now, just round here. Oh no. It's quite a good one, this. There's some brilliant theming at this park and it's time for the Bengal Rapid River just over here. Yeah, let's go and give this a go. One of them with the funky boats, you know, where they all kind of move around and split in the middle. Quite good fun, this. Look at the size of these boats just here. Here we go, Charlotte's getting a hood up just there. <laughs> Look at this, yeah, the interesting loading procedure. Obviously, you don't get loads of these instead of having a turntable where it's just like a moving conveyor through the station. But yeah, let's go and see what this is like. Yeah, we thought we'd sit opposite each other. Yeah, what I mean by the boats kind of split and move, like each individual bit will kind of move around like that it's good fun like, like that yeah <laughs> starts off more like a lazy river this one nice bit of funky music on here though like yeah <laughs> i don't think it will stay like this charlotte <laughs> it's like we're sinking isn't it like when the water all comes in down the side should be themed around the titanic or something but yeah all the water comes in they're very interesting these rapids Oh, so it's getting a bit wilder now. It's like Charlotte's just disappearing there, like each section. Waterfalls are on. Gets very vicious now. Whoa! Getting a bit wild down here. Whoa! <laughs> I like how we're in a nice yellow boat, Charlotte's favourite colour as well. Yeah, there's some lovely decoration around this part, which is good. I mean, there's a big like effect somewhere down here. It's kind of goes poof. Somewhere down here. Oh, it's that. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag rock work around here as well. Love rocks. One of my favorite props in a park. Yeah, I'm off now. See you later. Whoa! <laughs> Water in the middle. Oh, it looks a bit vicious around here now, Charlotte. Water doesn't look very appealing on here. A bit like that log flew at Foxer Land. Not the most appealing. Water, unfortunately. Oh! Hey! Ah, look at the boats on here. <laughs> hey, oh. 
<laughs> it just feels like all wrong though, doesn't it? Why <laughs> each individual bit? Oh! We got effects going up, we got waves coming in. Oh! The water smells as well. Not the best water. <laughs> there was loads going on there. Too much. Two big blasts. Oh, blimey. Yeah, there's that viewing platform looking over the lions and tigers there as well. Be interested to see if they keep the Bengal Express in the future, the train we did, because they built that viewing platform. Maybe they're going to take that out at some point. Yeah, that's what I was saying to you on the train, wasn't it? More effects. Coming in round here. Lots to look at. We've got some big elephants just over here as well. Nice big elephant. Are they going to squirt us or not? <laughs> they look cheeky. They look what? Cheeky. cheeky elephants. Yeah, he's got water dripping out of his trout. Uh, uh, trout. It's trout. It's trunk. Trunk. Oh, it's, it's on your side. I'm all right over here. Oh, no, we, we've missed them. Nothing. <laughs> all covered oh. over. Yeah. I tell you what, though, it's not very warm, is it? Like for this time of year at all. I can't believe it. Like coming towards the middle of April. That's it around here towards the end of the ride a couple of small effects in here are we going to avoid them or are we going to get wet i'm not liking how close i'm getting to that oh no <laughs> i'm all right we're okay <laughs> down the middle we're all right and that's the rapids well, just a good ride there on the rapids. We didn't get that wet on there. However, it's quite a nice ride with lots to look at on there and some water effects as well. Anyway, we've done the left-hand side of the park really now. So we're going to head off to the right. There's a look at the wave swinger with some really nice planting out the front there. And here you've got some birds, including some flamingos. Yeah, massive birds just over there. Yeah, it's quite a big park, Belwardia. Yeah, I remember the first time I came. This is my third visit here now, but when I first came, I was quite surprised with how big it is. Wow, look at them birds up there in the nest. The nest it's amazing. It is, and yeah, they've got some great landscaping around here as well. Fantastic. This is the meet and greet area for the uh, lion dust here as well. You got a few other flats in this area as well, known as the kids park. You got the carousel off to the left. There was a balloon ride back there. And a teacup's just here as well. It reminds me of how Marauders Mayhem used to look at Alton Towers back in the day when it was Merry England. Oh, I do miss that theme. Obviously, it used to look like this, however, it was blue. And just down here, we've actually got a dark ride of a coma madhouse, Houdini. Yeah, this park was actually owned by Six Flags at one time. And yeah, this was one of the investments that they made down here. So this is a really nice dark ride. I quite like Houdini. It's got a good pre-show. I can't remember it. Yeah, all about the magic tricks and illusions. Oh, I think I might remember. Yeah, with some like an cage and stuff. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's just down here on the left-hand side. So we're going to go and check that out now. Love all the details in here. Lots to see in this pre show. Ce film est ancien et sa qualité laisse à désirer. Mais il montre bien comment Houdini et son frère captivaient le prix. Nous vous invitons à assister au chef d'œuvre dans I do really like the pre-show. This story about Houdini. And he appears just up there. We make our way onto the madhouse.
not right footage there from Houdini here at Balwadi. What do you think to that? It's quite a good storyline. Even though I don't know what's going on, I do know what's going on. It's quite good fun. Music's good on there as well. It would be nice if there were some props down the centre section. It's a bit bare. But yeah, I think we are treated when you've got Hex at Alton Towers oh, as the love local. Hex. And it's the soundtrack and everything. But yeah, that's really good. It's definitely one of the better ones. There's a few out there, like the one at Fantasyland, for oh, example. That's not, very good. not the best. But yeah, that's really good. It was nice to get back on there. Hello! We've got some more animals to see just here now in the little farm area. And yeah, Charlotte's very excited because we found out that there's baby goats and they're just over here so we can see them. <laughs> hey! Oh, maybe because they're so small you can't go in with them yet. But here they are. Oh, little goats. Oh, they're nice though, aren't they? Nice goats they're area. Baby. Not too sure. They've got a big area. It's not, not a baby That's area. That's not a baby. I don't know. It's smaller than the other two. I'm really I think not the too babies sure. Are in there. You reckon so? No, oh, I'm sure you used to be able to actually walk through with them. In fact, actually, yeah, they used to have them, I think, in this area here. Hence why they've got these logs and things on the floor. Yeah, I think they used to be in this section. Oh, maybe because they've got babies, they've maybe. put them all in there for now. Aww. But uh, yeah, they're nice though, aren't they? Nice goats. Big area. Oh, one of the goats has come a bit close to come and see you, Charlotte. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah, we haven't seen the babies. I think they're probably inside. It's quite cold today. Oh, still nice to see the lovely goats down here. Look at that foot. What a lovely foot you've got there, goat. <laughs> oh, he's coming closer now. Oh no, he's going. You got lemurs just over here as well for any lemur fans. So we'll just have a look at those. Oh, here they are. The lovely lemurs. This is nice in here, isn't it? <laughs> you sat on there hoping that he's going to come and see you. They can move quite fast, can't they, though, lemurs? Very nice. Yeah, they've got bridges. I like how they move. It's <laughs> gone. Really nice area around here. I don't remember seeing this before. I love people. It's just in the path. Oh, look how they sit. Oh, they are nice, aren't they? Hello. The lovely, luscious lemur. <laughs> oh, he jumped on his back. Really? What, on his back? What, on the kid's back? Yeah. <laughs> I only hope they'll do that to me. Oh, they love people, these lemurs, yeah. Look at them. Hello. <laughs> and look at these over here, some bathing. Look how long the tails are as well, all the way down there. Beautiful. I know. It's proper sunbathing. He's having a great time. Oh. <laughs> that is how to relax. He's just chilled out, living the dream. What a guy. He's having a nice relax there. Look at that. Fantastic. Living his best life. And whilst I've been in there seeing the lovely lemurs, all the goats have come out down here now, but we've got no babies around here. I reckon they're inside just there, you know. But they are lovely. These are very nice goats here. Lovely. I really like the theming and atmosphere at this park. In a way, it gives me Animal Kingdom vibes, like with all the landscaping, the bridges here. It's really good. It's great, and I look forward to seeing what they do in the future with constant investment, refurbishments going in. And yeah, we're going on this nice boat ride down here now. So little things like this has been obviously replaced for this year. This park's done a lot and we've still got some other changes to see when we get down to the other end of the park. We've not even been down to the indoor coaster and the boomerang yet. And here's the entrance to Jungle Mission just here. Whoa, I got the big snake up there and you just squirt water out as well. <laughs> Animatronic snake. Let's go for a mission in the jungle. Worth pointing out, it's been so quiet today. We've gotten loads of rides so far. So this is basically like Balwadi's version of the jungle cruise that you find at the Disney parks. And so you've got real animals to see around on here as well. I guess it's kind of Jungle Cruise meets Kilimanjaro Safaris all together. Lovely flamingos just over there. So many of them as well. Love flamingos. We've got the capybara just in here now, chilling out, trying to do a bit of sunbathing when the sun decides to come out, that is. <laughs> Some good water effects out there, hey. Animatronics as well. Time is really good with these water effects. Some 
snakes in here as well. Not real ones. <laughs> like the one at the entrance, squirting us all. That one looks like it used to. You're right in there. <laughs> all the effects are working there. Smoke machines are all on. Nice collection of branches there as well. Sound like Alan Titchmarsh, don't I? <laughs> Very atmospheric this with the mist there as well. And this is a really nice effect with the waterfall on the tunnel just here. Imagine if that didn't stop. <laughs> Yeah, this looks really good. <laughs> what I remember, there's like a big blast or something in here. Remember it's scaring me the first time. There we go! <laughs> That was the first time I went on. Like, what? Well, we just had a lovely relaxing boat ride and we've come back around the corner. And here's the baby Look goats the just there. Oh, they are adorable, aren't they? Oh, oh well, they got three baby goats oh, just there. Lovely. Oh, but yeah, the boat ride's really good. It's like lots of effects on there. <laughs> adorable, aren't they, Honestly, those goats? Little baby goats just melt my heart. Oh, they're so nice. Have you seen any that small before? Um, when we went to the big sheep, there was a small one there. That sort of size. But I just love how they jump about. They go, wee. They're cute, aren't they? And yeah, so the, the boat ride was fantastic as well. It's a nice ride, that is. Yeah, What's going a lot on? Water effects on there. Yeah, definitely. Good to see everything working on there, like the smoke, the big blasts, and that sort of thing. We're going to continue on now down towards the other end of the park. We're going to head now into the African savanna just here. Well, this area is also being changed for this year, and it's looking really good actually because you've got the big wide area and then also the pathway that leads over the top here as well. So you can see out over the animals at the little hut just down here. Yeah, spending a lot of money invested in this park, which is good to see. Giraffes. Love giraffes. Uh, they are. It'd be great if they came over here, wouldn't it? They're very nice. Oh, we've got the zebras down there as well. There they are. Massive area for them. Yeah, really nice. This walkway is fantastic that they've done here. Perfect to see the animals. Very nice in this area. I'm a big fan of what they've done here. Them zebras over there are having a bit of a play fight, I think, by the looks of it. <laughs> Look at them. It's like me and you, that is, Charlotte. But when the camera's Easter not rolling. Oh, Easter. Yeah, happy Easter, everybody. <laughs> it's probably after Easter by the time you're watching this, but still, you had a lovely Easter. Looks like they're still finishing this off. Maybe some lighting going in down here as well. Oh, oh. Hey, all right, is there somebody in the bush over there? What's happening down there? I really don't know. Whoa, look at these <laughs> pelicans over here. Wow, they are massive. Look at the wingspan. What do you think of that wingspan, Charlotte? Massive, look at them. It puts Bert the seagull to shame. shame. That is absolutely amazing. Pelicans, beautiful animals. Right then, this area looks completely different when we were last at this park. There was actually a Wild West street that used to be here and it was quite nice. It was very dated, but it could have been great with the refurbishment. And there was also a Zero Tivoli coaster um, that they've actually removed, they demolished the whole Wild West street. And yeah, they're going to be building a new rapids ride with a difference. It's an Intamin Rapids. And yeah, look at this concept art just here. As you can see, it's got like a big funnel area. Um, it's got drops in there. It looks like it's going to be a pretty awesome ride. And yeah, that's going to be located on this site here, just behind the fence. But yeah, lots of investment going into the park. You can see they've got the crane just over there as well, currently working on it. And yeah, the Zero Tivoli was up in that corner, but it looks like it's gonna be a big ride. I tell you what, in terms of water rides, they're gonna have loads here, aren't they? Yeah, that's gonna be quite a big water ride. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I look forward to seeing what that's gonna be like. It's more something that you see at like a water park. Yeah, talking of water rides, there is a operating log flume just down here. River Splash, yeah, we're gonna have a ride on there. Nice, it's a theming round, but this is weird not seeing there's Wild West Street. It was quite nice actually, but I think they're keeping the Wild West theme looking at these other buildings. 
and the log flume just here. Is it, oh, yes, it is operating. It's just very quiet. Let's give it a go. Walk straight on then. I'm looking forward to this. Can't remember much about this ride actually, other than there's a big drop at the end. I think there might be a smaller one up here, maybe, going up this lift hill. So we're going to find out. Hooray! Just a little one in here in the gold mine. Oh, I got quite wet. I like that flashing sign. Why has it got a disco light inside it? <laughs> Well, it affects quite fast, actually. It's okay, you used to get out of the station, but when you get going, it's fast. Lots of rock work around here. Not the highest quality rock work. And that's the thing, the whole of the Wild West area will look quite dated. So, you know, in a way, it's good that they've demolished it, but it would have been nice to see them refurbished it. It was like a little saloon and everything all up there. But yeah, investment's coming in. This looks like he's had a bit of TLC around here. So, yeah, hopefully they're going to keep the theme. Yeah, they've took out the Zero Tivoli for it as well. So let's hope it's worth it. I do feel like maybe another water ride wasn't the best investment there. I think it would be nice to have another dark ride. I mean, we've got the indoor coasters to do, Hurricane, which is great. So we'll be heading on that shortly as we make our way into the Mexican area, which is the final area of the park for us to see. The trough's been painted up in quite a few areas as well. So hopefully they'll give the rest of this ride a bit of TLC because you're going to have a brand spanking new water ride next to it for next year so yeah hopefully they will it's fast oh that's it up to the big finale drop got a good view there so we get over there sticking out the roof you got the top of tower as well and there's the construction site for the new ride here we go Oh my god, I'm actually really wet. <laughs> I was not expecting that. How are you, Charlotte? Oh, I covered you up a bit there. Oh my god, I am soaked from that. I am. I'm really wet. I wasn't expecting that. You're looking a bit wet there, Sean. I was not expecting that. Like, I don't remember getting that one before. My jeans are absolutely soaked. And there we go. It's me moaning about a water ride, not you. I mean, my legs are a bit wet, to be honest, but just at the bottom. <laughs> But yeah, I think as well, it's not the warmest, is it? I'm normally really up for a water ride. But yeah, it's just not that warm. So it's like 8, 9 degrees. It's quite chilly, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's quite chilly. I'd like to have gone on Niagara down the other side. But when it's to be honest, you might as well. You're soaked. I don't know. That is really soaked. We're talking like tidal wave level oh, down no. on that. This is still, you know, not that wet. It's like 70% wet. On that, it's 100%. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we've got the Mexican area to go and see down here. And yeah, a few more rides to get on. Love the theming of this area. I'd say it's actually my favourite part of the park. So I'm really glad we've saved it until near the end here to come and appreciate it even more. Look at this, you got the topple tower over there. Unique rides they are. Fantastic, I love those, how they spin round and go back and forwards. Fantastic. <laughs> and yeah, you got lots of attractions down here, including Boomerang just over here that's actually had a repaint for this year. This was the first Vekoma Boomerang to ever operate. It was the second one to be built, but this one actually operated first. And yeah, it's been repainted, looks much better and fits in nice with the colour scheme just down here. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get on this now. It looks really nice and fresh, this does. Fantastic, I like the blue track, baby blue. And here we go, climbing up the lift hill on Boomerang. It would have been nice them to have renamed this, I think, to like a Mexican name. It would have fit in better down here, in my opinion. Just me on this one. Charlotte sat off, she got the cred last time. She's not a huge fan of this type of ride from Vekoma. <laughs> they are quite intense and they can be pretty jolty. But yeah, 1984, nearly 40 years old. Well, it will be next year, this ride. But yeah, they obviously got no plans in getting rid of it anytime soon. What's Charlotte waving at me down there? She's got something. She's bought something by the looks of it. <laughs> She's got some treats or mini eggs or something. There's Hurricane over there. Oh. And obviously you don't really get any warning, you just kind of release. <laughs> and off you go on this. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Wow! Through the loop! Whoa! For a 39 year old coaster, it runs pretty good. I'm gonna be 
There were great rides back in the day, and they can be improved by the new trains that they do now from Dover. Hey! Point two G's on this. Whoa! Whoa! That braking, blimey! It was alright that was. Like I say, for a nearly 40 year old coaster, it doesn't ride too badly. And I'd also like to see them rename it and add some theme music in the queue line and the station because it's very quiet in there. Whilst I was on there, Charlotte's got pick a I mix. I went and got a pick a mix because I really don't like the Koma Boomerang. I find it <laughs> so uncomfortable. So I went to go for nice, small pick a mix. You went on this last time we were here though, I didn't, didn't you? I didn't like it. No, obviously it's not going anywhere though. They've painted it up, they spent quite a bit of money on it. Notice lots of new wheels on there as well, which is good to see. But we're going on the Huss Topple Tower now. You coming I've on? Not done it before, so I'm going to have a go. I think you'll be fine on I'm this. I'm going to have a go. Yeah, it's a unique ride. You don't see many of these around. And here's a look at the attraction name, El Volador. Let's go and give it a ride. Oh, it's great this themed area. All the fountains, you've got Hurricane there in the background that will be going on next. And here's a look at the ride itself. So yeah, it lifts up, spins around, bit of an observation ride. And then, yeah, you'll start to tilt side to side. <laughs> this looks like he's falling over, doesn't it? Very strange, not really intense or anything, but they're just very interesting rides. All the fountains down here, really good. Yeah, not many of these around. I think Dollywood used to have one, not anymore. But yeah, fascinating. Obviously, the whole thing spins around at the bottom as well. Very unique attraction. Good fun. You could do a good one with like fire effects and stuff. I mean, I don't even think they sell these anymore, to be honest. Yeah, I'm glad this one's still operating here at Balwadi. Well worth coming down for a very unique flat ride like this. Let's go on. You also get a great view from up here over that construction site. Looks like the station area going in, some footers over there as well. For the new attraction coming next year, Intamin Rapids Ride with all sorts of quirky features. Yeah, it's more of a nice observation ride. You do spin quite fast though up here. You all right, Charlotte? I don't <laughs> Wait till we start tilting, you'll be like, whoa. Here we go. Ah! It's like we're falling over. <laughs> but yeah, great view of the show building for Hurricane, the indoor coaster. Fun fact for you, that used to actually be a dark ride, very similar to Pirate Adventure, that also used to be a Drayton Manor. Weird, isn't it? Do you not like it? Oh, no. It's just very, it's not really forceful, it's just very strange. It's like, whoa. It just doesn't feel natural, does it? <laughs> But yeah, that was, they took the dark ride out and replaced it with a coaster. I think that's what they really need here, in my opinion, now. A major dark ride. Houdini's good, but I'm talking major, maybe trackless or something like that would be great at this park. Whee! Also, you've probably seen it already. You've got Al Toro just over there. I'm not talking about the one in America. It's Six Flags Great Adventure. <laughs> you've got Al Toro, a little flat ride, a little break dance down there as well, so give that a go. Three. How are you feeling? I, I really don't know. <laughs> it's very weird. It is weird. Very technical ride. There's a lot of pressure on this ride system and the mechanics of it, like underneath, tilting all the way over like this. Very strange ride. And there we go. What are your thoughts on that then, Charlotte? To be honest, I don't really know what to think of it because it was really weird. It wasn't too intense for you though, no, was it? it wasn't too bad. Yeah, I'm glad that you uh, enjoyed it, it so to speak. It was too long of a side. <laughs> no, no, it was just about the right amount on there, about a minute and a half. Anyway, up next, we're going on Hurricane, this indoor coaster. I really like this because it's got onboard audio. Fingers crossed it's working um, on there. Because that's the thing with onboard audio. It's one of them things that it's a lot of upkeep for a park, but it really makes it. It's a zero force. It opened 10 years ago, actually, in 2013, this ride. And like I said, it used to have a pirate-themed dark ride in here, and they put the coaster in. Perfect addition for Drayton Manor back home, something oh, like this. So it would, like you could fit something like this in there. It's really well themed as well. Let's go inside and take a look at Hurricane. I really like the exterior of this here as well. I mean, look at this, big signage. The track comes out the top there as well with the lift hill and the first section for continuing on the inside. But yeah, it's a really nice ride. I'd say it's my favorite attraction at the park. I love a good indoor coaster. I like onboard audio, I like theming. So yeah, all that's combined into one with this. Oh, it's very atmospheric in the station. Full of liquor and lights here. Big face on the side as well. And here comes the train. 
What a reveal. running two trains as well automatic baggage hold yeah the onboard audio can be a bit unreliable on there so oh it's on there we go that put on a really good show lots of effects lots of ambience and that ride is fantastic i really like it i couldn't remember that but the indoor scene was fantastic and the coaster layout itself is really good fun it's a brilliant ride great family coaster and yeah running two trains the show scenes at the start are fantastic so obviously you're going through there with all the smoke the onboard audio i've got a feeling the last time we were here the onboard wasn't working I, I really can't remember yeah i've got a sneaky feeling it wasn't but that really adds to it obviously there's not really much steaming when you go back into the indoor section after other than some lasers um, but you're moving really fast through there you've got the music it's just a really good fun ride and yeah i love that pre-lift section oh, it's fantastic really it. yeah it's a great ride we'll have a couple of re-rides on there um, but anyway we've nearly done everything now here at balwadi gonna go on this little break dance over here now it's time for a little bit of al toro <laughs> I can't believe it, Charlotte's. Come on. Oh, I'm a bit shocked myself. I am ah! shocked. Hey. You didn't come on Decker Dance, though. Decker Dance, Decker Dance. Oh, hey. my gosh. You That's said it right. wasn't fast. It's not. This is slow. This oh, is. Oh, I'm not a fan, you know. Oh. Hey. Jumpy is a hurricane over there as well. Just had another ride on there. Very re-rideable coaster, that is. It's a great park. Nice oh. variety of attractions. Oh, I don't like this. You're not? No, I don't like how it <laughs> chucks you to the side. Hey. It's quite a slow one, this is. You're all right. Oh, I wouldn't be all right on the fast one. <laughs> hey. Really nice area of the park. I like this Mexican area. And the boomerang looks great painted up over there at the back. Charlotte's coming on, giving more rides to go. I'm not a fan of this. Uh, she is. I regret my decision. <laughs> 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 what sort of noise is that? I don't like when it does. <laughs> oh, That's good. It's good. <laughs> nice ride, Balwadi. They've also got a water park here as well. We did show you that briefly when we went on Doors and Jewel up the massive queue. You could see that and from on the ride. Oh yeah, it's really nice here. I look forward to seeing what they do in the future. I think another big signature thrill coaster is what would be great here. It's really out of thrills. It's just the boomerang. 
nothing unique, you know, it'd be nice to see something big and special here. Because nobody talks about this park, and that's why, because it lacks a big major thrill ride. And it's a really good park, I definitely recommend adding it to your itinerary. <laughs> Has it finished yet? <laughs> Another five minutes to go. How was that for you then, Charlotte? That was rotten. I really didn't enjoy rotten. that. It, I just didn't like the spinning motion. It was too much for me. Well, you went on. You gave it a go. I won't go on that again. No, you did both the flights down here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah, really good. good. Fantastic. But yeah, we're going to make our way now towards the park exit. Look at this truck coming down, Dustin. Hey! Oh! <laughs> I love it. Love that, a bit of street entertainment going past. I think it was advertising the stunt show that they've got down here as well. But yeah, there's a look at the character. <laughs> Love it, the line. I like how for the meet and greet, they key you up at the bottom and then you get that kind of exclusive walk up to his house Cute. so no one else is in your photo. Yeah, they've got a couple of kids rides over here, so I'll just show you those if you are visiting with younger visitors. Even a lot of the buildings are really well themed in this park as well. It's very underrated. I'd say one of the most underrated parks in Europe, in my opinion. Little balloon ride just over there as well. Here you got a frog hopper style attraction. And there's a couple of other smaller bits down here at the back. So here you got a little car ride at the top just there as well. Well, you're actually sitting trucks instead of cars. And yeah, there's a little spinning ride, little Miami way for kids, and a small Ferris wheel down here as well. So yeah, there's lots of family rides at this park including this lovely train over here as well. As you can see, you've got all the daffodils for spring, which looks really pretty there as well. Well, that brings us to the end of our visits here to Balwadi in Belgium. It's a part that not many people talk about this, and that is because they haven't got a major standout coaster. However, it's a great park, it's well themed, it's got a good variety of attractions, and lots of investment for this year as well with the new rides that have come in. We've had such a good day today. We've gotten so many rides, and the staff have been fantastic. Yeah, it's just a great park. Operations are pretty Very good friendly. here as well. Uh, lots of flat rides, Houdini's nice. I'd like to see a major dark ride here in the future. That's what it needs. Yeah, and also a major thrill coaster would be great. You've got to think, Plopsaland depends only about 40 minutes drive from here. It's quite a big competition, and this park does remind me quite a lot of Plopsaland, before they put in the bigger rides there. Days. Yeah, I'd love to see a big thrill ride here at this park. I know it's very family orientated, but they've still got some pretty decent bigger rides as well. Uh, obviously they've got Boomerang in here, you know, so it's clear that they still want to attract the thrill market. And Hurricane is by far my oh, favorite ride Hurricane. here. I really enjoyed it. Fantastic indoor family coaster with the outdoor section. And Wakala's a great ride as well. Yes. We've got a fantastic variety of water rides. I'd have gone on Niagara today, but it's still oh, too cold for that. Soaked. Yeah, the rapids was good fun. The log flume, I got really wet on that. And of course, you've got this new Rapids coming in for next year, which is going to be good. And if the theming is as good on there as it is on the other new additions it's that they've put in, really good. definitely. I mean, the two flats they've put in are really nice for this year. The Nebula um, looks the part. They're still finishing that off like we showed, but I appreciate how they got that open um, for the start of the season. And they're just finishing the last bits of theming on there. But it's been a really good day. Really Lots more still that. to come from our trip. So stay tuned for them vlogs here on Theme Park Worldwide. There's a playlist featuring them all. April 2023 with all of our vlogs from Belgium and France as well. But that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. See you in the next vlog.